Welcome back <laughs> to another exciting episode. Sailor's Guide to Self Reliance. Baja Fish Tacos. One of my favorites. Now, red snapper from the Gulf. All kinds of other fish work well. But, but one of the best fish that I've ever made this with is the locally sourced ones that we get from right around here. Largemouth bass. It's such a nice, white, pure, delicate meat, and the flavor really complements it. Um, Deep sea fish are good too, you know, they're a little tougher, they give it the consistency. I want to do this next time with blackened catfish. I think that that would be maybe really good. So, you know, but here's what I want to tell you. The most important part of this process, Baja Fish Tacos Part 2, the salsa. Mm, check this out. Alright, so we're stacking a few different things. Locally sourced cilantro. Now, you got to pick this earlier. It goes to flower and it just gets real big and it stems out and it's no good. So early in the season, I'm talking like January, February, March, you got to start getting ready to get it. Um, freeze dry it, freeze it, doesn't matter, but you got to get it while it's fresh. Okay, anyways, layer one, pineapple. Layer two, mango. Layer three, purple onion. Okay, now, the heat is from jalapeno. So, I mean, that's up to you. I cut half the seeds out and put a whole jalapeno in it. But the jalapenos around here are like this big. I mean, they're monsters. So it's, it gets a little hot around here. <laughs> and then tomatoes, but not just any tomatoes. In, in my opinion, <laughs> for what it's worth, the Cherry tomatoes are the only ones you can get from the store that are worth a damn, and my tomatoes are not ready to harvest yet. So, I mean, I don't want none of that store-bought bullshit, you know? Ugh. It's like eating juicy cardboard. It's terrible. I, 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 you don't like it either. You just don't know it because you don't have a garden and you don't grow your own tomatoes. It's a different planet. I mean, it really is noticeable. So, recap. Write this down. Mangoes, pineapple, purple onion, jalapeno, cilantro, good tomato, real tomato. Now, you gotta mix it up, but check this out. This is the most important part, okay? When you put the cilantro on. Oh, and lime juice, obviously. Lime, lime is probably one of the most important ingredients, but you don't put it on until last. Do, do any of you guys know what cilantro is? Do you know what ceviche is? Everybody knows what lime juice is. So I collect mine right here, meow. And ceviche is a process of cooking meat, typically fish, um, with citrus juice. Lemon, lime. I don't know if mango and pineapple will cut it. I've never tried it, but I might. Lime juice, you can actually cook meat with it. That's not what we're doing here necessarily, but we are. So we're kind of cooking this. So before you go, before you eat this, before you put this on your tacos, let it sit for about 30 minutes. And just put just enough on it to where it gets fully saturated. And I drop it right on the cilantro, you know, so it disperses it evenly to the bottom of the bowl. And then I cook my fish with olive oil. Where are we going? <laughs> I got a new camera woman here. She's, she's a little wild, y'all. You gotta watch this one. But she's good. And and she can smell this, and I wish you guys could too, because it, it, it smells so good. Okay, so for the fish, largemouth bass cooked in just a thin layer of olive oil. Just cut the fillets off and put this on it. That's it. That's all I do. I mean, you can batter them if you want to. You can't go wrong with battering them, but Tony Sashre. It's a Creole seasoning. It's a little spicy, but it's really good. Hey guys, happy thing. Ha you know, thank you first of all for tuning in. But happy Fourth of July. The Independence Day is one of my favorite holidays, and I have a lot to say about it. I do I love it and I had a great day today I hope you guys did too and I hope 
none of you blow your fingers or feet or eyes out tonight with pyrotechnics and explosives. <laughs> but if you do, I hope it was worth it, man. I'm thunderstruck too, so I understand. I'm not gonna give you a hard time about it. Actually, I'm lucky I have all my digits. I've come close to not having them, you know, because explosions are cool. So, um, happy treason day, you degenerates. I love you, I mean it. Stay tuned, stay hungry, eat this. Oh, you gotta try it. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> stay salty.